Hello, this is Steve Barton for Solid Rock Machine Shop Incorporated. Today we're going to freshen up uh, this 10 inch sign uh, plate that I've made about 30 years ago. Over the years, uh, I've used this quite a bit. We have some wear in there. I have to take that out. We're getting this set up in about a week. Uh, a friend of mine, Jonathan, in our last video, uh, he's going to come out. He's got this V-block all machined up and we're going to end up grinding this up and so we're going to use this sign plate uh, to grind the angles on this V-block. I already got much of the grinding done. I, I got it the surface is flat. I got it square and parallel with the ends sides uh, on both pieces and it's within probably easy two tenths in the entire 10 inch range. What I have to do now is I have a little bit of wear where these rolls mount in here and uh, I want to take that out and what happens if I bolt this on this part what will happen is there's about a two or three tenths taper this way it's not lined up real square that way we're going to true all that up uh, when this is all done this will mount like so and then you'll be able to lift up put your gauge stack block up under there to get whatever angle you want uh, one of the features I did build in that is uh, I stamped uh, the gauge block set up that you need for common angles on there and that way I won't need a calculator uh, I can just look at uh, uh, gate stack I need there and go for common angles. So what we're going to do in just a minute here, we're going to grind and refresh in this surface and try to get it so it lines up good and true over here. Uh, in order to do that I'll have to dress uh, the grinding wheel at a 45 degree and uh, we'll have to come in there and set this up and do that. So we'll show you how we're doing the angle on the surface grind right now. This is a, another tool that I made years ago and it'll be another project I'll have to refresh in. But I have the gauge block stack set up so it's at a 45 degree. I've already dressed this wheel out. I roughed it out with the boron, a boron stick and then I already trued it up here. Uh, but I'll just show you some of the basics on here uh, how to use something like this. You have to be careful because your hands will be close to the wheel. So you want to be careful, make sure these surfaces are, are, are nice and smooth. But what you do is you can come in and you can see I can dress that at a nice accurate angle. The other thing is you have to be right on center. In order to get that on center, I'll take a cut and then I'll slightly move and see if I can hear it cut. I'll move back and then I just keep moving very little bits until I can hear where the center of my cut is. And there I can hear just barely. And now we got a nice true 45 degree angle dressed on the wheel. When you surface grind stuff and you're going for precision, you always want to make sure everything's absolutely clean. The littlest piece of, of dust or material that's in between your back here or the bottom can throw your measurements off. I dress the angle this way, so we're going to be grinding this surface first, and all we're going to do is touch that up. Once I get that ground, I'm going to have to turn the wheel off, uh, turn it uh, around, and then dress it from the back side, and then we'll come over and we'll touch this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a Sharpie marker. Our contact point is in this area when we do the back side, and it's at the same level on this front side. So that would just let me know if I got the surface cleaned up with a quick visual. Uh, 
the other thing, I don't have to go this entire depth on this 45. I'm just you can barely clean this wear out. The roller is touching at the top, so so I only need to go a little past the the area that the rollers contact. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just lightly touch off. We already inked the part off. And we just want to take just a little bit to freshen up that surface. I don't want a heavy grind on it. I don't want to generate heat which will cause distortion. I'm going slow because I'm not going to be able to uh, traverse up and down that angle. And so I want to get a good finish. Here uh, is the thing that comes in handy for surface grinding. It's hard to get on the back side to see if we got the ink off. So if we take a mirror, we can come across there and we can see where everything is at. And we can see I'm hitting lower and I got some more to take off. The ink is still there. So we had to take a quick break. My daughter just walked in and my new shirts arrived. And so I just changed it. We thought it would be good to go ahead and put it in the video right now. Uh, back to the project. Uh, I touched off on the part a little bit and uh, cleaned the surface up, but basically we want to come in there with a light cut. We're cutting that whole surface, so we want to hit it very gently. We don't want to hit it hard because it will generate a lot more heat that way. What I'll do is I'll let this spark out. And because I'm not traversing on that, I want to just take a nice slow cut. Just make sure that surface is real nice. And you can see that we got a hundred percent clean up on there right now. So what we'll do next is we're going to probably break away for a minute. We're going to turn the wheel on, redress the wheel from the other side. And then we're going to come and clean up this side over here. Right now we have the wheel dress We're coming up, doing this back side. I just roughed it in a little bit, re-inked it up. And you can see that the wear point that we had, again this is after about 30 years of use. And you also can see that we're cutting more on this edge, on this side, than this side. And so hopefully this is letting us know that we're getting this crewed up a little bit better. Well, let's see how true it turned out. Anytime you have a plate that's hanging over before you throw the demagnetizer, you want to make sure you're off your wheel. If it would drop and go up in your wheel, if it was underneath, uh, it wouldn't be a, a very pretty uh, thing to witness. Set at zero. And it's within about 25 millionths. It's a 50 millionths resolution indicator. So now we did uh, true this up so it's running uh, this direction. And what we have to do, we have to turn it up on this side. It's going to be a little bit harder to do. And then we're going to see if it's running true with this face. Let's see if I can do this uh, without too much trouble. It's going to be a little bit harder because I 
have to. Uh, it feels like there's a little something there. And again, any little bit of particle in there will throw you off by rubbing on this on the granite. You'll be able to feel even the littlest particles. Right about zero, the best I can tell from here. And it looks like we're a little less than one ten thousandth of an inch. Yeah, so. And that's going to be plenty close for us. It's running uh, true with this surface now within one ten thousandths of an inch. And it was quite a bit more than that before we started. And it was down this way. So now uh, we have this part of it trued, which is critical when we want to have an angle and grind these where they're nice and parallel. <clears throat> what we have to do yet on this project is I'm going to have to retouch this surface and this surface make it the same and then I'm going to have to come in and I'm going to regrind uh, um, bump this surface and bump this and what I have to do is I have to make that an exact 10 inches because this is a 10 inch sign plate meaning that between uh, the rolls center line between center line of this roll and center line uh, of this roll actually this way uh, should be as close to 10 inches as you can get it and then that's where when you want to get you know an angle say 33 degrees you can use your calculator punch in 33 degrees sign and times it by 10 because the sign on your calculator would be for one inch we get 10 inches and uh, so you would times it by 10 and that would be the a gauge block stack that you would set up then in order to achieve uh, 33 degrees I'll uh, finish the rest of this up, uh, maybe in another video, maybe not, but for, for now, we'll just stop right here, keep the video short, kind of show you what we're doing on a project. Hopefully we'll have everything done so that when we come back on our next video, Jonathan is here, uh, we'll be able to use uh, this refreshed uh, sign plate in order to drain the V's in his block and get that nice and accurate. Well, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.